Good morning, good morning. I am here this morning to speak on the Peach McIntyre Wood and Fifi's drama. I am starting to believe that Oh, and first, I would like to ask if you could please uh, share, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications because I will be bringing more content. I'm new to um, being a YouTube uh, content creator or an influencer, whatever they, they call it. Um, I'm new to all of this and trying to get my feet wet and I would love to uh, gather support but I will be dropping more content uh, on different topics reactions to different people but in the most humble utmost positive way I know that drama sells but I like to maintain my peace and I do have a conscience and I never set out to hurt anyone with anything that I say or do. But this situation here, that young lady Fifi has no remorse whatsoever for her actions. She sounds like she thinks it's cute and then has the audacity to talk smart to people on the live, uh, speaking about she wasn't going to have intercourse with Wood. But we all know that that is not true because why are you guys conversating about sexual things? She stated she's celibate. I don't believe that by one bit because you were too thirsty to engage in something with someone else's husband. Whether they were on good terms or bad terms, who are you, Fifi, to try to step in and be a side piece? That's a woman of no character nor morals. And us as women must stick together. And especially black women. You know, we're undercutting each other, backstabbing one another, and doing things to each other that are just pure evil. We say some of the most hatefulest stuff to each other. And actually, if anyone comes at you with backlash, you put yourself in this position. And to me, you sound like a clout chaser. You're going to try to use this to gain followers and you see it, it as a money grab. Uh, anyone that comes on YouTube to make a channel is here to try to make income from it but not off the backs of other people and hurting families and other people. That's just not, it ain't cool. It does not sit well with me. And for Peach, she needs to be fully transparent and not say, oh, she's just lying because I really don't know if the girl's lying or not. She's bringing these receipts, these little few receipts that she's bringing because it sounds like she's just going on and on and on with her conversation, but she's not really showing and telling. You know, she, she wants to uh, uh, throw crumbs. She wants to throw crumbs out to keep people coming looking for more because as we all know, People love to hear some juicy gossip and some drama. But Peach, you were in the kitchen yesterday with your husband uh, cooking as if there's nothing on your mind and this girl is a complete liar, 
but in my heart I believe something went on but it may not be totally to the extent that she's trying to make it seem because this young lady is so contradicting when she speaks and she sounds a little bit slow to me you know she said she was tired last night because the live took her out but no ma'am that's how you sound all the time since i've started watching your videos um peach think more highly of yourself because i don't believe this is the first time you know it's not the first time and you can see the shuffling around in the kitchen that that was a nervous man because he didn't know what was going to be said on that on those different platforms while you were online and if it was going to spill over to when you cut those cameras off um you deserve better it, i know a lot of women stay with men because of the children and wanting to keep the family together but you're getting your own bag he's bringing nothing to the table other than heartache and pain and to try to blame you for his infidelities uh once again stating how you're not the girl he once knew he wish you would get yourself together for his hair and things like that uh girl to me you look like you're doing a whole lot better than you used to look when you first started out at this that's when you were a hot mess i mean and we all have our days and we do have to keep ourselves up for our husbands or significant others but at the same time he has no right to blame you for his indiscretions doing things that he knows he's a married man and he took a vow with you and he needs to stick to it and if you're so unhappy move on so that you can start living your life and continuing raising your kids and learning a positive way of co-parenting i know that it's not easy it's just not easy at all you know like i said most women have been there so we understand but at the same time you can't walk around here bragging and don't have a humble spirit uh about your blessings and uh the things that god has stored into your life because sometimes you can um not be so humble you know with all the bragging and different things like that and and my husband this and my husband that and my husband this when you know when you cut those cameras off that's not how things are looking i love your somewhat transparency but you got to keep it real all the way and fifi you ought to be ashamed of yourself once again i will say that because you're one of those ones you, you were willing to take the money. You were willing to take the flight. You were willing to go to the hotel. You knew what was going to be taking place with that visit. Don't act like you weren't coming down there to uh, hook up, as they say, with wood. You know, you should have shut that down when he first came to you in a manner of of disrespect to his wife and coming to you as if he was wanting to get with you as a real woman you would have shut that down you know but instead you sought to pursue it so either because you knew who they were you can't say you didn't because they are plastered on all platforms and it's been that way for years so you were either looking for a way in with this YouTube or you're just one of those kind of women and that's sad you know I, I see a lot of clout chasing coming and I see that's what you're doing now you know and then want to get upset at other people because they state their opinions about the situation 
You can't get an attitude with anyone after you put your business out here for the world to see. You could have kept all of that to yourself and you and Wood could have ran off and lived happily ever after. And the same way he got with you, he was going to leave you that same way. You know, and then for you to speak and make it seem as if he's only staying with her because of the two disabled children, that's bull crap. And her kids should have never been brought up in any type of conversation. Kids are off limits. So I have no respect for you there. You know, because you know when he said that, that that's not true. He's sticking around because she's the breadwinner. She's taking care of him. And why would you want a man that, as you see, would allow a woman to take care of, of him? You know, a real man's going to get out and try to pull weight, especially when you have all those children and a wife. And she's striving every day, doing different avenues to bring in income to keep you guys afloat and to better your life. That's not a man to me. That's nothing, Peach, you should be bragging about. You know, because he's not showing any type of manly duties. Well, you say, I, I act like, you know, I can't pick up things when um, um, I need my husband. He'll pick up everything for me or whatever you were saying on that live yesterday in the kitchen. You sounded ridiculous, you know. Because, honey, if that's all he's good for, he ain't good for nothing, picking up some boxes. You got an older son that can pick your boxes up for you. I pray for you and your peace, Peach, and that after all of the smoke clears, your head is in a good space and you know what is best for you. We are on the outside looking in, so there's no way that we can ever fully judge you and what you need to do for your home and your family, but this doesn't look good, and this isn't the first time, and it won't be the last time. Fifi, you are a true non-factor. You can come with as many receipts as you want to, that doesn't make you look better as a woman. All it's doing is bringing some tea to the table. And we have to cipher through what's real and what's not real and what could be. People know how to doctor up some documents real good these days. So who's to say that you're even telling the truth? You know, but until the smoke clears and everything is fully out in the air... And, and we know that you're not a liar. I will not put all my stake in you, honey, and listening to what you're saying. Because you sound like a very immature young woman. Because a real woman would not find joy or whatever you're trying to gain from this. They wouldn't find enjoyment in this. And it seems like you're finding enjoyment and you're finding a way to build a platform off of drama and negativity versus coming and just doing your own thing. You know, just do your own thing. Because all that you weren't going to have sex with him, that's a bunch of crap. And I would say something different, but... We all know the truth. Real women know the truth. If what you're saying is true, we know what you were out to do. You know, and I hope that you feel you are worth more than $200. You know, you can go make that money on your own with still keeping your morals and your integrity in place. Because this shows that if I was your friends, I wouldn't trust you around my man, I would be side-eyeing you every time you're around because you're the type of woman that doesn't care or value or respect 
someone's relationship and boundaries that shall should not ever be crossed. Peach, girl, I feel sorry for you, but you aren't fully innocent either. Because like I said, you put daddy, and he's not your father. You shouldn't be calling him that anyway, teaching your daughter to call some man daddy. He's not your dad. Fathers that's living in the home, I would think, would hopefully work and help take care uh, of, of the family. And he is a father to them children. But is he pulling his father duties as far as maintaining a home? I don't see it. So you have a lot of reevaluating and thinking to do. And if it all comes out to be true, please don't come back on here bragging on that man and helping him try to build a platform to where when he gets big or makes it to where he feels, hey, he don't need you, he's gone on you and your children. As he says, he's only there to help out with the special needs children. Such a sad thing to say about his own children. So I'm going to end this off. I just had to put my little two cents in about the live yesterday and the little receipts that she shows. And like I said, people can doctor up text messages. So I, I don't, I, I'm not sure what to believe at this present time. But I know that this is just one big messy situation. And Peach... You've come too far to be brought down. You know, if he can't bring nothing to the table, he should at least be adding to your life emotionally, spiritually, and physically. You know, he can't monumental bring anything to the table money-wise because he's looking for you to get the bag. The big bag, the big bank, the big bag, the big bank. Baby, do better. Find yourself and not let this man make a mockery of you. And then you parade around the internet with him like it's all good. Everything is just such a beautiful situation. And then the next minute, crying talking about divorce or separation or whatever, you, you're making yourself look crazy out here. If anything, I would fall back and keep my business off of social media until I figure it out, you know, no matter what comes out. Until you can figure it out, because you got a lot of thinking to do, ma'am. And Fifi, once again, please go crawl under a rock because you are messy. You are very, very messy and you have no morals and integrity as a black woman. We can't stick together to save our lives. And I'm saddened by that because we're the only culture that sits around and beat each other down. I wish everyone a blessed and prosperous day and may you go forth in peace and joy and let no one steal that joy from you. And there will be more to come. Uh, I will not just totally be talking about Peach. There is other reactions that I would like to do uh, on different people such as uh, Look At Me Now, The Raw Squad, and a couple more because it's some sick, evil things going around on these YouTube streets. And people act like it's okay. It's not okay. You know, we all should be striving and trying to do better, not to set out to hurt each other. And that's exactly what's going on. But please, please, I ask if you could 
like, share, and subscribe. And cut on your post notifications because I will be coming back with more content. Um, and I'm looking to grow my channel. I'm not one to say that I'm not here uh, to bring revenue in or to, I'm, I, that, that's exactly what I'm here to do, to get my point across and things that I feel as well as grow as a content creator and make money in the meanwhile. Thank you so much for listening to me. I appreciate you, um, and please, please, please subscribe and hit that like button for me. I would truly be grateful and appreciate you. You all have a blessed day.